So I'm going to show you some more complex shapes now. So if we were going to be looking at maybe letters or shapes that had curves, uh, and I'm going to start with one of the most difficult letters I think that you could do, which might be the letter S. First, you have to be able to draw something in bubble writing for you to be able to create the shape. And then all of the rules that we learned when we were doing our blocks are the same. You take an edge or a corner of the shape, which is harder to find on the letter S, and you move it back towards the vanishing point. You have to think about where the edges of the shape would actually appear. Sometimes, if you need to add in a few more lines to make it look realistic, it shouldn't, as long as you aren't overlapping or intersecting the shape, it shouldn't cause a huge issue. Now, same rule again. Anything at the front and you want to make the depth, it's parallel at the back. So notice how I mimic that curve to try and make it the same at the back. Okay, it would disappear. Anything here at the front would be parallel at the back. Shade that in because that's quite a small section. Anything at the front here, here, would be parallel at the back. And that should carry on. Shade in. Should produce the S. There might be other letters that you want to try that are a little bit easier though. And you can draw freehand as long as there is a 3D shape that you could produce from this. So remember the rules. Corner pulling it back to the vanishing point. I would not be able to see here because the line would not pull back. Any line at the front, parallel at our depth. Any line at the front, parallel. Okay. They look very different above the horizon, but you can start to see that I'm building up lots of shapes here. So try some letters as well and see if you can actually spell out maybe your name across the top. Good luck.